Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see from the title, today's video is a big ASOS haul with various different pieces. Some of this is really spring focused, some of it's a bit smarter, some of it's loungewear, various different pieces that I've been adding into my life from ASOS recently and hopefully you guys will really love this. Some of this you may have already seen in different videos because basically this is like a collection of bits that I have accumulated over the past... I want to say like two or three months and I just have never got around to actually filming a haul so I thought I would bring them all together, film a haul for you guys and just share a video of all things ASOS. So I'm going to actually start with a pair of shoes which are off the screen because these are ones that I wore in Qatar and absolutely love. They are obviously from ASOS and I actually got these specifically for Qatar. They're just these really cute woven mules which are my favourite style of shoe for the spring and summer. I just love wearing shoes like this. I think they're really nice and comfortable and they, I feel like they're just like wearing slippers. I just love them. And these ones particularly, I really like the kind of asymmetric bit here. Really flattering on, really comfortable and also really affordable. So definitely recommend these. I will probably be wearing them on every trip for the foreseeable future. So you're going to see these quite a lot coming out and no shame. I love them, I think they're really great and also the first time I wore them, just threw them on the floor, the first time I wore them they didn't hurt which is a bonus because sometimes I find mules where your foot is like struggling to stay in the very first time because obviously it's trying to like mould itself in, they can be a bit uncomfortable but those ones are really really comfortable and really easy to wear and easy to style so definitely loving those. Moving on to the rail, I've got a few different pieces here so first things first we have this jacket. I'm going to apologise now for the lighting. There is clouds going past the window and I film with natural lighting. So I'm very, very sorry for the like up and down. Hopefully it won't be too bad and I will try and edit it as best as I can. But there's not much I can do. So first up clothing wise is this little waffle jacket. Which a lot of you saw in my loungewear haul and really liked. So I'll leave it linked again obviously. But it's so comfy. I haven't actually got around to wearing it yet. It does still have the tag in. But I love it. I think it's so cute. And the pockets are really nice. They're like these really deep, big pockets. High neck zip detailing. And also the long sleeves. And this does look a lot bigger on the hanger than it actually is. But it is kind of oversized. So I would say get true to size. Because this is my normal size. And it fits quite big on me. But I really, really like it. I think it's really sweet. And I actually love wearing it kind of undone with something underneath. Or just like done all the way up as a hoodie. And ASOS actually do have, I don't know if necessarily in this one anymore, I know they did have it and I think it's sold out, but they had it in like sweatpant version and there was also like a lemon yellow version as well, which was in the sweatpants and the top. So I'll leave all those linked down below so you can check them out. Moving on, we have a jumpsuit which was in my work from home video, also wore it in Qatar and it's really nice and comfy and flattering. It's just a basic cropped trouser, which is actually not really that cropped on me. It's meant to be like a culotte style, but it's I'm five foot three, it's not a lot. Um, really, really cute, really basic, really comfortable, nice thick soft material and again, I say this in every video to do with items like this but so easy to wear, styled up or down, really nice casual if you wear it with trainers or mules or you could dress it up with some estrogels or wedges or heels or something and it looks really cute. It does come with a little tie belt which is obviously just not done up at the moment but you could easily take it off and put an actual belt on which would look really sweet as well depending on what you fancy doing. I actually think in Qatar I wore it with a belt but I can't remember, maybe I just wore it tied, I can't remember what I wore but it looks really nice on and I've actually been wearing it as loungewear around the house so it's still teaming up as like a different style of outfit and getting a lot of wear even though we can't really go outside at the moment. Then next up we have a top which I keep forgetting I have and I really want to wear it but I keep forgetting every time I get dressed in the morning and it's this really nice like swing top with the puff sleeves, of course it's puff sleeve but what else do I seem to own at the moment but puff sleeves, everything has got a puff sleeve. Um, it's really really cute, it's got like a nice little balloon sleeve elastic detailing there, nice deep v-neck and it's just really cute. I actually think this would be great with flares which we're going to get onto in a minute but I love it. You obviously will need to wear like a little cami or something underneath because it is broidery so you can see through but it's really sweet and perfect for spring and various different styling options as well. Then we have this little jumpsuit which you've definitely seen before, this was in my loungewear video and I love it. I've, I've actually worn, to be fair, most of this already, it's just that I never got around to filming the video. But it's a really, really comfy jumpsuit and this is actually not specifically loungewear or pyjamas but I've been wearing it that way and I would definitely wear it out of the house as well depending on how you style it. So it's got these buttons down the front, it's obviously a play suit style so really nice and floaty, long sleeved and v-necked and it looks so cute on and it's so 
freaking comfortable i can't even tell you i live in this when it's not being washed like it's just been washed out which is why it's on a hanger and not on my body but it's really, really comfortable and really easy to wear and it looks great with i've been wearing it with a giant cardigan but you could wear it with like a leather jacket and some boots or something as well and it would look equally as cute next up we have another dress that is from qatar this is one that I actually didn't know how it would look on and I fell in love with it the minute I put it on on the first day in Qatar. And it's a really gorgeous maxi dress with the long puff sleeves, again elasticated around the wrist. And then you've got this kind of like tiered style which is so cute. I'll put the cutaway here which is actually me wearing it in Qatar because I think that is the best way for you to see it in all its glory without me standing in my bedroom but it's so flattering and so comfortable it's really nice and breezy and this is the kind of thing that i think would look great again with like trainers or something or you could wear it with mules or you could wear it with espadrilles like there's so many styling options and if i was to go on holiday obviously not right now but like if in future i was to go on holiday this is great for in the daytime but also into the evening so you could just switch your shoes and it's quite versatile but also where it's quite nice and floaty it's really cool because you, you just get a nice little breeze and it feels like you're not really wearing much and it's also great for if you're just popping to the beach like i wore this with my bikini underneath and i just whipped it off got in the pool got back out put it back on again really nice and comfy and i actually think it's the kind of thing that i'll get a lot of wear out of in london because it's just really like light and comfortable and if you've come to London or live in London, you know that like weekend outfits on girls is literally like midi dresses and midi skirts. And that is the perfect thing that you could definitely wear. Then we also have a blazer, which is super, super oversized. I've actually had this one for quite a while, but I just haven't got around to wearing it yet. And it's this really nice like pinky brown colour. So like it is brown, but it's like on the pinky scale. And it's really oversized, really comfortable. I wear it with like jumpers and stuff underneath or I'd wear it with like a little cami and some white jeans or something really easy and classic because I think it's kind of like a statement blazer and it's something that I don't really own anything like. So I've got loads of creams and greys and blacks, but I don't really have a brown blazer. So this is a really nice way to add a little bit more neutral into your cupboard without adding like full on like sage green which i also have just bought a sage green blazer but you know what i mean then we have this little cardigan which again has been worn quite a few times i've had it for a while but it's never featured in a haul and i think it deserves a moment because it is still for sale and it is beautiful so it's just this little cardigan which is really like open knit so it's got this really nice like open knit texture it kind of reminds me of something that looks like my grandma would have made it but it's obviously not made by my grandma and it's really soft you obviously need to wear like a cami or something underneath but it's really flattering and it looks great tucked into blue denim which is how i prefer to style it but also with like little linen shorts or trousers or something would look great like if you saw my h&m haul the other week i actually have a really nice pair of cream trousers which this would look really nice with and it's just so snuggly it's honestly just one of the coziest cardigans i own and it's great for spring and summer because it's not too thick and it's not too heavy like it's not like these kind of cardigans that are really really wintry it's just a little bit more lightweight and a little bit more seasonally appropriate then we have these flares which i've been wearing obviously a lot around the house annoyingly where some of this has come into my life during isolation i haven't really had the chance to wear it out yet but i really wish i could because some of it i love so much i just want to wear it out and i can't and it's so frustrating but it will be worn in due time i'm sure so these flares are everywhere at the moment they are in literally every single shop but i chose asos ones because i know the quality is good and i actually got these true to size so i bought these in an eight they fit like a dream i wouldn't recommend sizing up or down or anything i know other shops people say to size up but these are really really true to size and i'm quite short i say this a lot i'm five foot three and they come up to a little bit too long for me but like in a nice way so you could always get the petite version if you wanted to but i just chose to get the regular ones because i thought i can always just cut them if they're a bit too long and they're really comfortable big oversized t-shirt over the top or a big chunky knit or a cardigan or a chunky cardigan or whatever it is you want to wear it with these literally go with everything and they're almost like you're wearing leggings but you're not because you're actually kind of wearing a trouser which i really like because they're comfortable and then last two things in the haul we have a shirt dress and a jumper so shirt dress is this one which i don't think i got petite i can't really remember i did get petite this one i did get petite and the length on this is perfect and i'm so gutted i haven't been able to wear this shirt outside because it's so beautiful so it's got a nice little granddad collar here it's got the brown buttons down the front and this little like pleating not pleating like ruffle i don't i can't remember the term of it but it's like it looks like this and it's got this really nice like balloon sleeve detail as well with the cuffs and it's so flattering on like i really love this and i cannot wait to wear it because it's just so so cute 
I do think it would look great if I wore it with like a jumper over the top now because the way that it hangs is really nice to like wear something over the top of or I could wear it with like a blazer or a leather jacket or a coat I just haven't got around to wearing it outside yet and I'm really sad about it because it's so pretty and I got true to size in petite five foot three it's the perfect length I do think if you are anything taller than me you probably will want the regular size one which I'll try and link as well because I find that this is like the perfect length but if I was any taller it would be too like short so definitely recommend getting a like regular size as opposed to petite if you are anything taller than five foot three or four um but other than that really nice and really flattering where it's quite big as well you don't really need to worry about like sizing up or anything because it is like a bit of a tenty style which is great and then last but not least it would not be a haul from me without a little bit of disney i actually found this by accident and really like it i think it's definitely something i would take to the parks with me definitely something i could wear as loungewear with jeans or whatever and it's a really cute like nude colored sweatshirt very my vibe and very disney so also very my vibe and it's just got these little mini mouse faces on it with the little eyelashes and it says oh my that bit is embroidered and all the other bits are just like printed on which is really cute and then on the back it's also just got a little face there and i really like it it's really nice and big and slouchy i got it in a uk 10 so i sized up by one just so it's a little bit more slouchy and i literally think it's the cutest thing ever and it's also not too heavy so it's quite lightweight like the inside is like fleecy but it's not like heavy fleecy so you could totally wear this if you go to florida and you wouldn't be too hot in the evening but i wouldn't recommend obviously during the day and i just love it i think it's such a cute little sweatshirt and as you already know my disney collection of clothing is getting bigger and bigger by the day but sometimes it's nice to have something that's really subtle disney because there's so many things out there that are like very in your face disney and i don't personally like that but that is like the kind of disney i will wear so it's like sharing my love but sharing my love on a more understated stage way i don't know the term <laughs> but anyway Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this haul video. Don't forget that at the moment I'm uploading very, very, very regularly. So I'm currently doing seven videos a week. It might potentially some weeks only be five because it's obviously a lot of videos to film, but I really hope you enjoy the ones that I'm putting up. And it would really mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe and join the little family that we have going on. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one.